What's up everyone? New video, new event. This time we are in uh, Washington for the Blast Spring Finals. Now we got apartments, so this is something new. Usually we're always staying in the hotels and uh, just casual rooms, but now Blast provided us with the apartments. And this is my room, 309, and the best thing is that the practice room is right next to my room. So yeah, very short walk to the practice room, which is very cool. So this is the apartment that I got. A good big bed, a lot of room for the luggage and everything. The view is kind of decent, but that is not the most important thing. Cool mirror. And then we have the kitchen in here. Now my girlfriend is pretending like she's going to be in the kitchen, but we all know that's not going to happen. So yeah, we got a kitchen as well in case we want to cook something. something like, like we usually not do. Ta -da -da -da. The coach is settling in, the most important uh, person on the team. He has a mirror next to himself so he can look at himself, how beautiful he is every day and remind himself that he should be grateful to be like that. I don't know who's going to be sitting here, maybe Ilya or Rasmus. Rocha sitting here, yo, yo, he got yo. a decent view on, of the building. This is me, the biggest reason why I took this place because I have AC. And uh, I sweat a lot when I play, so I like to sit next to AC. And I'll sweat a lot when I sit next to Justin, because he's so fucking hot as well. Very nice, up next to you because you're so hot. Yeah. Another kitchen that this one is gonna be probably even less used. But at least we have a big fridge, so we can put a lot of drinks inside. A lot of Red Bulls. We have a, one cool fan in the room. He's cheering for us very hard. What is in here? Actually, there is a one more room in here. We have plenty of space in here. And why is this room having a bigger bed than me? I want this big bed. I have a smaller bed in my room. That's about it. Pretty cool area. And uh, I think Blast did a good job of providing us this cool environment. Now we're gonna go grab some food at uh, Chipotle Mexican food and uh, see you either later or tomorrow. Out in Washington a bit. We're looking for a restaurant. Honestly, the city looks beautiful. At least the area that we're staying in. Looks very nice, which is a Georgetown. Did not really expect it to be this way, so really positively surprised. Yeah, as I said, we're going to Chipotle, to Mexican restaurant. Right now it's a couple of minutes walk, so we are enjoying the walk in the streets of Washington. I need to end the day. Can you end it for me? Yeah, I can see you guys. Have a good night. Uh, Lack noche. Spoken noche. What's up, boys? Second day here in Washington. Fuck, I almost said the Dallas. Just finished media day. I had some uh, longer things to do. These motherfuckers behind me didn't have much. I was making some pizza with Dupree. Now we're taking a walk to the Lincoln Memorial and then to the monument, the Washington Monument, and then to the White House. We are walking almost as a team. We are missing Ilya and Pets, uh, our manager. We have a 30 minutes walk to the first place which is a Lincoln Memorial. So I'm gonna show you guys around and uh, give my thoughts on the city. So far, it looks very nice. It doesn't really kind of remind me of America in a way. There's a lot of like green, which I'm not really used to seeing in America. People are very chill here, at least in the area that you're staying. Holy shit. Holy shit, this boy. This boy is flying low, dude. It's a fucking Biden. I've just been to the Mr. Lincoln Memorial. It's right behind me. Looks uh, very nice. Uh, lots of people around the area. The whole area is uh, very nice. The views are amazing, especially this view towards the monument and the White House is, is really nice. And the whole park around is beautiful. I'm really, really positively surprised by Washington so far. See you later.
We just got back from the downtown and I'm going to the gym. I'm going to show you the lounge area as well. I'm really impressed by Washington in general. The only disappointment that I have is that I really thought I could or we could get closer to the White House and to see a bit more of it. It was like barely visible. So that was a bit disappointing. But overall, the Washington looks beautiful and it was a really cool experience to, vo uh, to walk around. This is the lounge area that we have that we can use whenever we want. Couple of uh, tables and chairs to have lunch, dinner, chill and things like that. The washing machine and the drying. Gym is this way. Couple of treadmills. Kind of leg press and calf extension. All right. Multi-press, so I guess you can do the chest press and incline, lat machine, Rocky Balboa, working out, Smith machine. And that's pretty much it. Pretty cool gym, gonna get to work out and then I'm gonna see you later. So I just finished my DM session. I had around 800 kills or 777 to be exact. Just finished my individual preparation. We have also done the team preparation as well. We have prepared for the tomorrow's game, which is versus Cloud9 at 1 p.m. local time. We're gonna be playing right after Vitality vs Imperial. It's been a quite long and exhausting day, but a productive one. I'm uh, off to bed as well. The boys are already in the bed, so I'm gonna head now and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Going for a quick walk outside. I'm gonna gr uh, grab something to eat. I'm gonna go for a burrito. In the first game before us, they're already late for 40 minutes, so we have some extra time. So that's why I'm going to get my own food as well. We're heading to the studio in around 30 minutes. The map should be, uh, we pick Inferno, we expect them to pick Ancient and Mirage to be last map. Pretty good veto, I think, for both teams. I mean, they could go with Vertigo just because they always loved Vertigo, but lately their Vertigo has been very shaky. So I'm not sure if they're gonna pick it. We'll see how it goes. We feel ready on uh, every map. We just got to studio. Actually, we're about to go live. I uh, didn't really have time to record too much beforehand because we were in a rush. There were some delays. The maps are actually Vertigo, their peak, Inferno, our peak, and then Anubis, the last map. This is the area where we're going to be playing from. Looks cool. This boy is ready. He's ready. Blue and purple colors. Imperial managed to upset uh, Vitality. That was a pretty cool uh, game to, to listen to. They were very hyped. So yeah, we're about to go live and uh, I'm going to talk to you after the game. Can you repeat everything that you said? <laughs> Please repeat everything that you said. Don't be shy, dude. Don't be shy, dude. Today we played Cloud9, we won 2 0. Okay. It yeah. was good. It was good on the T size, but on the CT size, not so good. For Still me, it was good on the CT size, not so much T size. <laughs> Yeah, but Everyone has his own okay. point of view. Teammates are throwing. Yeah, okay. Good game today, best vitality. Should be a yeah. good game tomorrow. Make sure you guys tune in at the same we time. We banned the best map, so they're sad. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> How do you sleep, Ilya? Uh, you don't look 
fresh. Dobro, dobro. No, I look fresh. I always like this in the morning. I woke up at 6 because of the fucking light in the room, dude. It's so fucking bright. I have to wake up. But oh, it's fine. Look at Fernando Torres. We have Torres over here. <laughs> We have called the Bruin. Today we are playing. Uh, are we playing? Fuck. We play Imperial today. Fuck. I forgot for a second. Just gonna get uh, some air, get the uh, body activated, and uh, then we head to the studio. We are waiting for the game before us to be finished, which is Cloud9 versus Vitality. That's gonna be a spicy game. One of those teams is going out. Pretty tough result, especially for Vitality, in case if they lose after the major win, then they're gonna drop out of the group. That's pretty tough. We don't care about that. We focus on ourselves and uh, time to fight versus Imperial. Last time I played versus Fallen was at, like, what was it? For the major in Antwerp, we won. But uh, yeah, we don't get uh, too often to play versus Fallen, so it's gonna be an exciting game. See you later, boys. We are waiting for this game to be finished, and it just went into overtime. Fucking crazy game, dude. But now we have to wait for another hour. Or actually, no, what am I saying? We don't have to wait if Vitality wins in overtime. So now we are cheering for Vitality to win, so we don't have to wait an extra hour. I'll fall asleep, Ilya. I'm already in a good position to fall asleep. We did Vito versus Imperial, by the way, and uh, the maps are as expected, actually, this time around. They picked Ancient, we picked Inferno, and uh, Nuke is last. It's been a while since we played Nuke, so it's going to be an exciting uh, game to play. 2v2, are we going to another overtime? Or are we about to play? 2v1, not for me alone. He's One lying versus two. He's lying, he knows it, they just yelled. Of course I know, but I need to make it interesting for them. It's time to fucking play, boys. Let's go outside, guys. Let's get my body moving. <laughs> this is the cross for today, guys. This is the one. What is Ilya using? Ilya is using this. What is Rasmus using? Rasmus is using... Don't use that, don't use that. The this. Trust me what you're using. Oh, back might, to Katowice! You, you might have to come back a few rounds into the first game, see how it's going. And if the first game goes good, you might have to come back in the second one. Let's see how the pistol goes. Okay, boys. If the first map sucks dick, you have to come back on the second one. Okay, see you guys soon. You're about to go live versus Imperial and it's time to fuck him up, boys. We just secured semi-final uh, after beating Imperial. A crazy game, very nice to play. Ancient was a pretty good game to play, for me at least. But Inferno we struggled a bit. But uh, just overall the game was pretty crazy to watch, I think. Now we are heading back to the hotel. Tomorrow we have an off day and then uh, we play the semi-finals on Saturday versus... I don't even know who yet. Vitality, Heroic or Face? Vitality, Heroic or Face. So there we have three options. I'll see you guys on Saturday. Good morning, people. It's time for semi-finals. Just woke up a couple minutes ago. 
Barcelona. Same as this guy. Just got outside. I'm gonna play some football. It's not so early. But I woke up like an hour ago. Had a bit longer sleep today because we might go a bit later in the day today because of the game. We should be playing around 5 p.m. versus Vitality. They are probably the best team in the world right now. So it's gonna be a tough game. We need to be on point. We're gonna prepare Inferno. It's gonna be our pick. And we're gonna prepare Anubis, which is gonna be their pick. And then the last map should be Nuke. But uh, we're pretty confident in the this is gonna be the map uh, map pool but uh, they still could surprise us because they have a lot of good maps right now so we'll see we are ready and uh, we want to finish this season on a, on a good good note i'm gonna see you guys later when we enter the shuttle there you go there you go it's time to go to arena boys let's go oakley you have your head yes you're gonna fuck up your hair no Make sure to drink your Red Bull, the guys, in the morning, in the afternoon, and one before you sleep. We are waiting for the game Imperial Heroic. Imperial unfortunately lost first map. Our pass. They had a chance actually to win. It should be a 2-0 and we should be starting before time. So we are going a bit earlier to the to the arena. I will see you there. Some are watching CS, some are watching football, City winning. What? Some are watching both, at the same time also counting 24 hours countdown, Heroic Imperial, Nuke 15-13, Heroic had a big lead, I think they had 14-5, to now Imperial coming back, uh, we're all cheering for Imperial of course, for Daddy Fallen, no, no, he's calling from behind, no, let's go, I'm not sure if we can see anything, Look at these guys, they're cheering like we are playing, dude. Fuck. 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 Fuck, man. The Imperial fucking lost, dude. But now it's our time to shine, boys. It's time to set up. The maps are Anubis, Inferno and Nuke. This was a really nice game to watch between Imperial and Heroic. A really nice fight by Imperial and... I hope we fucking win today and we smash Heroic in the fun, man. I want to play them so bad again. Time to get on the stage. This is the arena. This is the seat. This is the view that I have. Not too bad, not too bad. That's it 
for us this season. I couldn't really record anything last night. I was really exhausted and frustrated after the, the loss. I know that I said the same against FaZe, but last night we finished very late, so I just wanted to get to the hotel and just shower and relax. Tough loss versus Vitality. I don't know, after winning Anubis, it really felt like we were going to win the game because Anubis was it's a weak map for us and we didn't really play it in a long time so we really thought like after me and Ubis it's gonna be a good uh, match for us but uh, Inferno turned to, to shit, they played really good. There's something wrong in our Inferno definitely right now and we have to look into it and uh, see what went wrong but it's been uh, shaky for the past couple of games so we really have to work on it. And then on Nuke, I think just lots of individual mistakes, I don't know, it was just a very draining game. They did good on their CD side, they had uh, good reads on us couple of rounds which won them the round so it was just a very tough match a very tough match to play definitely expected more out of ourselves but it is what it is that's the end of the season for us unfortunately it's not the ending that we have wished for and expected it feels like ages that like we have on Katowice so yeah the start of the season was very good for us but then as I said it turned to shit we failed to qualify for playoffs of the major we failed playoffs of pro league we failed playoffs of Dallas failed playoffs of blast as well so a very shitty ending and uh, very disappointing we are going to be going on vacation for two weeks two and a half me myself definitely some time off i did not have the best season individually i really didn't feel good throughout the whole season uh, i felt like this was one of my worst seasons of my career i underperformed a lot in the crucial games but in general just underperformed a lot in the many events so i have to step up for the for the next season a lot honestly on this last event the last one i felt really good actually individually and uh, i was very confident in myself and it just sucks that we couldn't get to the finals because i was very very confident in myself this event and hopefully i can take it uh, on from here know what i need to work on and uh, i will do my best to get into the shape thank you guys for watching uh, the vlog from uh, blast washington i appreciate you all and uh, thank you guys for the support throughout the whole season make sure to like and subscribe and uh, i'm gonna see you soon much love boys